Howdy, this is Sailor the Piper, man. Piper the Sailor, man. I didn't know if this machine was on or not. Listen, hey, I wanted to share something with you. Very interesting to me. Uh, it's my DNA analysis. It's, it's very well possible that I'm related to some of you guys. I mean, more than just pipe friends, because I don't think things happen with coincidence. I want to show you here, I have DNA results from the 13th century, right? I got to go back in history now, 13th century, where my DNA shows Anglo-Saxon, Norseman, and predominantly uh, Viking blood. I got people living there today. It says uh, 50 under average people native to this area on the map have 50 to 75 percent England and North Western European ethnicity. So I got some from here, 25%, 50%, which I believe Anglo, Saxons, and Norsemen, and Viking up here in the north, which is a whole nother of story, right? I want to show you something. Let me go back. I'm like blown away. Here you go. Let me show you. Let me show you something. When I was a kid, I used to have dreams of being a Viking and Stonehenge and uh, all the Viking sagas and stuff like that. You know, I always wanted to be a warrior. I always wanted to be out at sea. Check this out. Here you go. It says 1%. That doesn't mean... I have one percent blood. It just tells you how far back my ancestors. Nine, well, this one percent goes back to to the nine hundred A.D. period. You got Iceland, Greenland. That means there's people there that are living there that have common DNA. And here's the breakdown. Percentage of Norway. Check this out. 75 there. 50 to 75 percent. Holy smoke. And you know. From Norway. They ended up in, in Wales. Right? Check this out. This blew me away. I was just in contact. With somebody from Iceland. He wanted to know how this happened. That he had a dark skin cousin. <laughs> I had to tell him, well, prior to the ancestors coming to the island, majority of my ancestors were white. But when they came to the island, they mixed with Africans. So I'm a byproduct of jungle fever. <laughs> I want to show you something here. I think this is so cool. Here you go, it's from Wales. Same era, 900. That means the Vikings, Norwegians came down, settled this area. Well, all kind of wars and stuff with the uh, Wessex and early uh, Saxons but there's people alive now that are indigenous it's 75% from this area isn't that amazing and we wonder what what make what attracts us to certain type of people, where do we get our mannerism and our beha social behavior from? 
where that worry spirit comes from you know it's amazing here you go I'm really happy about this because I know throughout oral history Happy St. Patty's Day. I got 3%. That's two, two of my ancestors that came in the 16th century. Here you go. They came. They were soldiers. They were Irish. At the time, the Irish and England were at war with each other. So, at the same time, England was at war with Spain. In the six, early 16th century, like 16th, even 15th century, they were at war during the time of the Elizabethan era. These guys got captured, were forced as laborers on board the ship. That English fleet under, it wasn't Sir Walter Raleigh, it was one of these other cats, uh, came off the coast of Puerto Rico and a battle ensued between the Spanish Armada and the English ship was sunk. Now these two brothers were called James. My last name is Santiago, but in English it means James. These two brothers swam ashore, were captured with the Spanish. It so happens that one of the Spanish back in Spain soldiers dealt a lot with the Irish soldiers. And saw them and understood their dialect and realized these guys are not English. These guys are uh, Celtic, Irish. So he began speaking to them because he knew English. And the boy, the, the, the brothers, the, the James brothers were telling them how they were taken capture by the English. How they were called to, to do service in the military. And how uh, they were forced to do what they did and how they escaped and swam to shore. And he says, how come, how were you able to swim to shore? And he says, they were, they were whalers back in those days. They were fishermen in, in Ireland. And so they made it to shore uh, and uh, they were given their freedom because under the Spanish, you can't, couldn't hold somebody from a foreign nation captive. They were given their freedom. And as they talked and everything, they didn't realize that these these brothers back in the Irish in Ireland made cannons. So they showed the Spanish how to use cannons for the infantry. So they opened up a shop and made cannons for the Spanish crown. They were given uh, Spanish citizenship and they stayed in Puerto Rico and married indigenous women. Then later on, they were called the uh, Wild geese, the group of Irish people that were descended, they were not the only ones that made it to Ireland. There were other soldiers that, Irish soldiers that enlisted in Spain, came to Ireland, and because of their fierceness in battle, they were stationed, they were stationed in Puerto Rico, and that's how they became citizens. So you had indigenous Irish people that, from their families that came, and then there were Irishmen that decided to intermarry uh, with indigenous people. We had people from all over the different islands. And so that's how I came to be. Through these, the, uh, called the James Brothers. They opened up shop. They brought with them their customs. And uh, that's the whole history of the Irish people, how they came to Puerto Rico. A lot of the... Um, the English did too, uh, mercenaries. And so these Irish brothers had Viking ancestry. They were mixed. Some of the, they were mixed. They weren't total Irish. They were, you know, Ireland had been mixed also. And some of the women, their sisters came and whatever. So I'm assuming that it's through, through the Irish in their blood, you had the Viking blood, you had the Anglo-Saxon. I don't think it was Anglo-Saxon. Maybe through another ancestors. But that's how the 
I have Celtic blood through these two brothers, James brothers. They later changed their name to Santiago. I mean, they live, they live to, they belong to a uh, Cork Island area. And so their colors is the color of my cap. That's why I wear that color cap. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you that my, of course, I got, I got Spanish. I'm from Spain. You know, I have Portuguese. Through the African trade, some of my ancestors were Portuguese. This is the entry suit. The basket. Why the interest? They've never been conquered. This tribal group in the Pyrenees have never been conquered. They have their own language and everything. There's a myth about them that they're the 13th tribe of Israel. I don't know. You got to go. But that, what does that mean? I have no idea. They even say it. They were all seafarers, adventurers, mercenaries. When Christopher Columbus went abroad, America Dispute, he always brought and one one more I want to show you, which is an ancestor. Pre-Columbian. Amazonian. From the Amazon region. 75% of indigenous. Eastern South American. Right here in Brazil. That's the Amazon jungle. Spaniards came. Took the women. Brought them back to the island. So I have at least one ancestor. Probably female. It's from the Amazon. I always love the Amazon region. They all converge back onto that island and they all intermix. That's why Puerto Ricans, we look, we look all kinds. We have people coming from this is new. This tripped me out. I was like, what? I even have an ancestor from the island of Cyprus. Before mice came out, Balkan, Cyprus, so many different people. People that are living there now are my ancestors. You get. You know? And then here, where all the fighting is taking place. Besides having Sephardic Jewish ancestry, I also have European Jewish, 2%. This goes back to the 14th century. Here you go, Ukraine and the Slavic areas, a huge migration of uh, Polish, a huge migration of Jews that are heading back to, to, to Israel, migrating back to Israel. All this everywhere were from Ashkenazi Jews, you know, Ashkenazi was the son of Gomer. Gomer was the son of uh, Japheth. Japheth was the son of Noah. So, there you go. What a history, right? People had to migrate. Time went on. They met on an island. Migrated to an island. They intermarried an island. And here, I popped out. My ancestors covered 26 nations, 26 nations. So talking about my mixture, huh? What was that gonna come out looking like? Or <laughs> say to the pipe man, pipe is a sailor man. It is what it is.